Hey folks, welcome to part 4 of manual testing interview question series. Let's begin. First question is, what is alpha and beta testing? Alpha testing. It is a type of software testing performed to identify bugs before releasing the product to the real users or the public. As the name suggests, alpha testing is nothing but is a testing performed in the company or in the developer's environment, in the dev or staging or uh, pre power environment, whatever the testing we perform is actually an alpha testing which is performed in the developer's environment. Okay. And uh, next is beta testing. Beta testing is performed by the real users of the software application in a real environment, which means that this live application will be used by the real users. Suppose you might have heard that the beta version of any specific application has released. Before uh, they release the application to the whole world, they'll deploy it in particular uh, one part of the uh, country or somewhere. Okay. Um, so at that time, real users will use it and report the issues if they find any. So at that time also they will be having the chance to modify it. How friendly the user of the application is. All those things can be tested in this beta testing. What is a test case? This is quite commonly asked question. The test case is a set of actions or instructions for a tester to perform so that it can be or so it validates a specific aspect or criteria of the application. Test cases are derived from test scenario. So might be you may know that test scenario uh, before writing the test uh, cases we will write the test scenario from that we will derive the test cases right. So also a certain type of questions like write the uh, test case on some of the object say example pen or chair okay such type of questions will be asked so be prepared suppose if they ask the question uh, to write test case on the pen you have to uh, write or you have to tell the ui specific as well as from the functionality specific uh, test cases also it is actually basically to test your analytical thinking skill okay so this is how actually a test case looks like if you see here so a uh, test scenario is something which is derived using the requirement or the user story from that we will derive this test cases and the next question is what is regression testing okay so regression testing is also a type of testing carried out to ensure that the changes made in the fixes or any enhancement uh, changes are not impacting the previously working functionality as the definition says that it is something it is a testing that makes sure that the changes newly added features of the functionality is not affecting the existing functionality okay um, in short the main aim of this testing is to make sure that the changed component is not impacting the unchanged part of the application or the of the component say for example right now we have a tested software we have already tested the application so we have that part and now we have added few new feature to our application okay which we have added it here new feature so which results in a new build so we have got the new build so we are not going to test this tested software now we are going to test in the newly deployed software we will perform the regression testing on this newly deployed software to ensure that the previously working or the tested software is not been broken or nothing has been impacted because of this new feature this is what regression testing is you, you can explain it diagrammatically or else you can also explain by giving the examples. 
explain defect life cycle this is kind of mandatory question uh, so most of them ask this kind of question so whenever a tester finds a defect it will be in the new or open state okay once it is in new state uh, then you feel that uh, this could not be a bug later you got to know that this is an expected behavior of the application then from this status you can directly go and mark it as not a bug and all you can close it okay otherwise suppose you will uh, talk to the developer okay saying that this is what is happening and all at that time developer rejects that defect so at that time rejected status will be marked a defect is marked as rejected and duplicate is when suppose you have created a defect which is already been created that is where duplicate comes into picture and deferred deferred is when you uh, the reported issue will be taken up in the next or upcoming sprints that's where it will be marked as deferred okay okay so first uh, whenever the open status is there it will be assigned to the developer and once it is fixed developer gives you the build with the status as fixed or resolved and you will retest it if it works fine you will close it otherwise you will reopen it for a detailed video i will leave the link in the description check out what are the difference between positive and negative testing so both are very important positive testing is also very important negative testing is very very important so when we see the difference it is performed only on expected conditions whereas negative testing is performed for the unexpected conditions it does not ensure a good quality product but whereas it ensures the good quality product how suppose a uh, you are testing putting the negative values and testing if it is capable of handling that negative scenario that's where the quality of the product can be determined positive flow always most of the time goes well only the negative part uh, is a situation where you will get the defects more it can be performed by the people having less knowledge also it can only be performed by the professionals it doesn't discover all possible cases whereas it covers all the possible cases most of the possible cases corner scenarios also can be determined it takes less time whereas this takes more time going ahead what is black box testing black box testing is a method of software testing that examines the functionality of an application without having knowledge of internal code structure which is basically a through ui you will be testing this major focus of black box testing is the output with the given set of inputs black box testing is also known as behavioral testing and there are some of the black box uh, testing techniques as well you all can always go and check out in the description for this a uh, couple of them are boundary value analysis equivalence partitioning state transitioning table decision table okay what is bottom up testing bottom up testing is a testing approach which follows integration testing where the lowest level of the component are tested first after that the higher level components are tested so which means that as the name suggests it follows the bottom up so all the bottom modules will be tested first and then it will go to the next module which is the upper higher one and it will be tested until the uh the main module or the overall application is tested going ahead what is acceptance testing 
acceptance testing is also known as user acceptance testing performed by the customer or the client to verify that the business requirement is met. The key aspect considered to verify the software functionality is based on the user story or the requirement document. It is a final round of testing done before the software is released to the production. Basically, it is a user acceptance testing before the software is released. It is tested by the client. It is basically a functional testing performed by client to ensure that the intention of the product is met. Yeah, so this is all about the part four of software testing interview question. Stay tuned. Bye bye.